Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will develop the lateral surface of a pentagonal base prism. The statement of this problem is available in description box. You can refer to that, please. So, like the previous drawings, a regular cylinder, square base pyramid prism, a triangle base prism. Here also, first we'll draw the top view and front view of the object. That is orthographic projection. So as per the statement, the base edge of this prism is given as 20 mm. So first we'll draw the base edge 20 mm. Right? So you know what is the internal angle between two edges of a pentagon? It is 108. This is 90, 100, 110, and this is 108, 108 degree, this one. Similarly, this side, one hundred and eight degree, right, 100, 105, and this is 108 degree. You can draw one line here. This is 20 mm. Similarly, this side, this dimension is also 20 mm. Now we are left with two more edges. So, here one very simple method is there. Just take a compass of 20 mm, take an arc 20 this side and take an arc of 20 mm from this side. This is a regular pentagon. So now we'll project its front view. Take the projection of all the vertices. So base edge is 20 and height is given as 60 mm. Take the height of 60 mm from all the vertices. It will take some time, but keep patience. Instead of making incorrect drawing, spend two minutes extra. Now this middle one is the hidden edge. So here you have to draw the dashed line. Now this is the front view. You can visualize here. This is the The pentagonal base prism in which one of the base edge these are the five base edges one two three four five one of the base edge is parallel to it you can see 
this base edge is parallel to VP, right? It is resting on its base on HP with one of the base edges parallel to VP. So from the front view, you will see this shape. Two small rectangles and one full rectangle here. One, two, three. And this edge, this edge is the hidden edge. This edge is the hidden edge. So now if you will unfold this, the length of the sheet will be equals to base edge into 5, 20 into 5. Now this is the developed surface, we will divide this into 5 equal parts, 20 mm each. Now this is the developed surface. Now we will do the labeling. These are the five vertices. For front view, this is one dash. This is the two dash. You can see this projection. This is five dash. This one is three dash and this one is four dash. So further it is given that it is getting truncated by a cutting plane which is passing through the midpoint of the axis so midpoint will be here the centroidal axis will be here on this line here so cutting plane is passing through the midpoint of the axis at the angle of 45 degree here we'll take the angle of 45 degree is 45 degree angle right the cutting plane as per the statement the cutting plane is passing through the midpoint of the axis at the angle of 45 degree so this is the portion which has been removed and now this portion is left so let's transfer the height here one two three first you have to do the labeling for this one you can start it from three also this that nearest one is four so you can start it from four also four five one two three four that's also correct the only difference is there here the sheet will be different but no problem if you change obviously if you will change the number here if you will shuffle the numbers here the developed surface will be changed but don't worry if you will join the edges the final object will be same so let's transfer the heights this is the edge number one this is one last one is also one this is edge number two now this is edge number five which is hidden but in the developed surface it is available this is edge number five 
now this is edge number three and last one is edge number four so here is the edge number four so one thing is very clear that without this labeling you cannot transfer the points so this is one and two let's join this one two then two three then this is three four now this is the developed surface of the truncated part this line should be a thin line now because this portion has been removed just for the construction work you can keep these lines as a thin line so this is the developed surface right it is very important to understand this if you will change if you change this divisions like you will start it from 3 or let's suppose 4 4 5 1 2 3 4 this drawing will be changed but don't worry when you will join the first and last edge the final product will be same you can also do, do the dimensioning here here the base edge is 20 you can take two extension lines this is 20 this height is 60 the length of the developed surface is 100 still if you have any doubt or any question please post your comments i'll try to answer your questions thank you so much